Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. My name's Dylan Schultz, and you're watching Prehistoric Companions. I'm an artist and reptile keeper. I'm relatively new here to the whole YouTube game, so I'm trying to just venture into different waters and see what works, what doesn't, and trying to figure out my niche. I'm thinking that's reptiles, anything reptiles, anything art, reptile art related. We're almost at 50 subscribers, so if you guys please do me a huge favor, go down there, smash the like button, leave a comment if your heart so desires, and please smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, hit all notifications so that you know every time I upload a brand new video about awesome animals, or art, or whatever I just so happen to be uploading. This is my girl, pretty sure this is a female BCI boa. Uh, she's very young, I'd say probably about six to seven months old. I believe this is a Cocker K Island boa. I'll give you guys a closer look here in a moment. And today we are giving her an upgrade. So I've had this girl living in a 10 gallon tank for the last four months that I've had her. And today she's getting an upgrade. I purchased her a Vision Cage Model 211. It's a 32 gallon and it's got nice glass doors and we did custom decorations on it and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what uh, we did with it today. Guys, a little closer look here. Yes, I'm pretty sure uh, this is a Cocker K island bow. It is a dwarf species and this particular locality uh, will not exceed, the females don't get over five feet, the males typically between three and four feet. So and these guys originate off of a small island, uh, the Cocker K Island off the coast of Belize. If I got any boa keepers out there, uh, I'll give you guys a better look here in a moment, get some good pictures and video of the patterns and the tail and everything so you guys get a good closer look. And if we got any bow guys out there, bow ladies, whoever's watching, uh, if you do think this is indeed a Cocker K Island boa, let me know below. I really think the head stamp gives it away. It's kind of got like these uh, kind of crosshairs on the head stamp. I don't know if, uh, I'll show you guys some better video. So, and this is what's referred to as an anutheristic animal, meaning that it lacks red pigment. Anutheristic is just a fancy word for lacking red pigment. The tail here isn't truly red. It's more of like a dark maroon, like a brown, and not really too red. Okay, see the crosshairs there on the head? I'm thinking that's an indicator that, uh, all the K boas, not the crawl K, but the cocker K boas I've seen all have that kind of crosshairs on the head there. So these guys are a lot of fun to handle. They're a lot, very uh, energetic snake, and they like to be out. This girl, once I get her out, she doesn't seem to want to go back into her tank. She just wants to keep hanging out. So they're a lot of fun to handle. They're a lot more inquisitive. Uh, you could tell there's a little bit more thinking going on there. Like she's just like, we're having like a little staring contest right now. What's up? You want to bite my nose, don't you? These things are just beautiful. Look at those patterns. Very like geometric almost kind of patterns. So this is the Vision Model 211 cage. I have it pulled up here on my phone. What does this say here? This says uh, 14 inches high by 24 inches long by 22 inches deep, 32 gallon. And then I had the uh, locking mechanism. I had that ordered separate so that, uh, yeah, we have no issues with escapees. So that's nice. So you can see that I've kind of did some serious customizations up in here. So I went crazy with some spray foam and larger foam pieces that I had laying around from other projects. 
and I'm gonna do a naturalistic sort of environment in here. I won't go full bio bioactive. I uh, foamed a branch in there and over time I wouldn't want like the isopods or springtails to eat away at the wood and then expose like the foam and not natural stuff all underneath this. So next step I'm gonna go ahead and grout. Uh, I just got done carving uh, with a razor blade, little little razor carving away chunks and exposing the uh, foam inside. The outside is real slick, so when you carve it, then this stuff, uh, when I go to grout it, the grout will be able to bite onto the foam a lot better than the smooth surface that it dries with. So we're gonna grout it up. And there's a couple spots that I need to re-foam in here, but yeah, we'll, uh, Get it looking real nice. Maybe we'll put some fake plants in there, some really cool looking ones. And uh, yeah, let's just rock and roll with it. kitchen here but let's see let's get that focused check out the head stamp there kind of how the uh, pattern a darker pattern goes down the middle of the head and cross hairs near the eyes so very nice pattern very more silver and black and brown kind of snake Like I said, her tail isn't that red. So this is not a BCC, you know, boa constrictor constrictor. It's not even technically, if you want to get technical, a boa constrictor. It's a boa imperator, Central American boa, imperator, imperator. There's a lot of different pronunciations, so I guess just pick one, whatever one you like. <laughs> Just a young girl here. So technically, boas, you can actually determine the gender uh, via visual um, analysis. So you just look at the base of the tail, and I could tell this is pretty much female because at the vent, there would be some spurs. Males definitely have more pronounced spurs 
uh, at the vent and I, this individual doesn't hardly have any. And right at the base, the cloaca, that vent there, the tail tapers rather quickly after the vent. So uh, there's not really any room for hemipenes. If it were a male, the tail wouldn't taper so quickly after the end of the vent there. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, these snakes just love to explore once you have them out. Right, and there we have it. That last layer of sealer <clears throat> is just about dry. Probably not just about. Probably uh, leave this to dry overnight and introduce uh, Linguini into her new habitat in the morning. So, get a closer look up in here. Take the lock off. Slide that door open. Check it out. So this will be good for her for probably at least the next year or two until she outgrows this. Then I'll probably put Looney, my Pueblin milk snake, in here. And I think she'll live comfortably in there. But this turned out great. I gotta get some fake plants, a bigger water bowl, um, some more cocoa chip, repti, repti chip. And so I got... <laughs> don't do not do what I did. The bow was kind of an uh, impulse purchase. That's why I didn't really know right off the top like what locality or, or what it was really. I just knew that I needed something that was going to eat well considering the ball pythons like to go off feed so much. So I thought, yeah, I'll get a boa. So it wasn't until a little later that I discovered exactly what locality is. This bow is even just too small to even eat any other larger prey items for the other animals, so like it even matters. I just should have just got a bigger snake to begin with. Nonetheless, this thing's coming out great, so you guys want to stay tuned for Sunday. I got a feeding video on Sunday, and we'll do an update. Uh, we'll feed the boa, and hopefully she'll love her new habitat. We'll update you guys on that. So thank you guys so much for checking into the channel today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found the process of how something like building a naturalistic kind of decor for your reptile, all that kind of comes together. Hopefully you guys checked out the leopard gecko video. That one was fun as well. So stay tuned. I got more awesome content coming up. Got lots of cool video ideas. So I just got to work on actually putting them out, getting them edited, filmed, and getting them out there to you guys. So thanks again. So you guys be safe out there. Wear your mask. Look both ways before you cross the road. Just, you know, exercise caution now. It's a crazy world out there. So say what's up to your mail carrier. We appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Have a good one. Peace.